Alrighty guys, so today we're fishing out on the lake, as I said in the last video. And I'm going to be fishing beds for bluegill right now. Seeing if I can catch anything. Fish on guys. I was fishing in bluegill beds and then this bass had to eat it. It's not a bad one for a little worm. Fish on. guys. Come on, bluegill. I'm going for the bluegill, guys. Except I get this bass. Fish on, guys. Finally got a bluegill, this time on a bed. We're going to eat him. Want to? Yeah. Perfect little bluegill, yeah. I can't quite cast all the way over there. Look at that, guys. Nice little bluegill. Oh, there's a hit. Got him. Fish on, guys. Bluegill. Nice bluegill. Is that a... That's a pretty one there. Oh yeah. I get bigger than that. Heard one up north. We heard one. Let's go guys. We're gonna do a bluegill catch and cook today after this video. Another cast. Bring it right across this good bed right here. There's it. Got him already. Came off. As soon as I cast in there, guys. bass. Got it. Fish on, guys. Another bass. Just like in dams. You can catch them easy on worms. Worms do it. Oh, man, he's chunky. size isn't it? Eh, I'm gonna throw him back in. How see this is why I jerk fast. That's the reasoning. Got him, he's hooked. We're not into the biggest school yet. There's a giant pipe. That looks like a that was a brown trout. He was staring at the bluegill. It looked trying to get him. Wasn't that a brown trout? That was not a pike. I, that's a dogfish. That was not a pike. That was, that was not a pike. I, 100%, that looked like a brown trout. Giant. This long. There's probably, somebody might have put a giant brown in here. Because it was not a pike. But, that's one. Got him. Came off. He was on that time. Irritating me so much. Okay. 
on, guys, bluegill. What the heck? Since how small do they get here? Spot small bluegill. Okay. Put this in. Put on, guys. The trap is fighting so hard. What is this? Oh, it's a bigger one. Oh, my night crawler, guys. Look at my rod. Yeah, sure. Well, oh, that's a nice one. I'll just get this. Yeah, it's fine. There he is. That's like not a bad fish for a crawler. This is a nicer one, Dad. Look. Those are some big beds over there. Perfect, Perfect bait size for Dan's. Oh, yes, brother. Look at that, Dad. That's my biggest bluegill of the day. Yes. I think we're just hitting it with the bobber even better. More. They're not that, this is still not that big. Okay guys, so we're getting a good amount of, guys, we're getting kind of a good amount of, uh, whatever you, of different species, a bluegill, a, I call it a rock bass, a crappie, and now we got a, a, a pike. Oh he is. Get him, get him. Yeah, you got him. Is he eater size? He's an eater size. Fish on to JD. Yeah, that is a nice one. Yeah. Bring him over here. He's good. He's good. Look at that, guys. Nice. Alrighty, guys. So we're gonna go back and we're gonna play up the. Oh, Dad, look at these minnows. He's eating a worm. Anyways, guys, there's minnows. We're gonna go back, flay those bluegill up, and then we're gonna eat them. So, straight right, guys. So, these are the fish we're gonna let go in the pond. This pumpkin seed, this crappie that my dad caught, and then this bigger pumpkin seed, and then some a rock bass and a bluegill. So, let's let him go. guys so I caught a turtle in the pond but we're gonna flay these bluegill up so this is a little bit different way of flaying bluegill this is my way of flaying bluegill so you cut straight down like you do as you can see then what you do is you run your knife straight along the spine it's easier for me you can do it the other way just works easier like this Go along the spine. I'm trying to show the camera. So, all the way down to the end. Like that. You poke out. You poke out the other side. Like, I don't know if you can see, but poke out and then you cut straight down. And then you cut it off. And then you just work it. And then it's just like a kind of like a normal fillet. Right there, and you don't even have to worry about the rib cage because I cut around it. So then now I'm just gonna skin it. Skinning it's pretty easy. You just skin it like a regular 
filet. Just like that. Now that's not the best job of a filet because it's kind of showing the camera more. But the rest of them I will do just perfect, I bet. So there's the first one. Hey okay, guys, so we're out here cleaning them up. All the filets, we got every single one of them. As you can see. We're just cleaning them up. guys let's get to the cooking before we cook before that we cook the fish guys fish check out fish brain it looks like this if you haven't already you just click on it it'll tell you what you need and stuff sign in and then all this comes up once you're signed in you can just it's an app where you can look at people's big fish and look at them you can make your own post your own fish um, you can go follow me if you want to Trevor Miller Outdoors is what my name is. Trevor Miller 2 2025. Also. <clears throat> it's a good app. Go check it out if you haven't. And yeah, let's get cooking. Hey guys, so we got this Henny Penny butter. Like Henny Penny season, uh, breading. And then, uh, we got fish seasoning in with it. Mix it and then we're going to put the fish in that. Then we're going to go fry it. Alrighty guys, so time to eat the bluegill. It, it was fried. Time to eat it. Let's eat it. already devoured a lot of these but I'm just re-eating them they're so good flaky and honestly tastes better than restaurants that are breaded in my in my opinion mm. that's good Anyways, if you want to see some more bluegill catching cooks, leave a comment. Like this video. Subscribe if you want to. And I'll catch you in the next video.